So turn to page 20. Sekarang halaman 20. So our brother the, the Gilbert, okay? Gilbert, uh, uh, Henry, Henry, okay? Henry asked Henry about... Henry not coming yet. Uh, no, 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 no. It's about... A, ask about Jesus' teaching on praise. And actually, page 20 yeah. is the summary, summary, summary of Jesus' teaching on praise. Ini ringkasan tentang pengajaran Tuhan Yesus tentang pujian. Yeah. Actually, in, in some cases, in some cases, Jesus taught about praise and which is very important. Dalam beberapa kasus, Tuhan Yesus mengajarkan bahwa pujian itu penting. Uh, one thing very interesting it comes from Luke chapter 19. Uh, apa yang penting dari apa, perjanjian baru? Uh, Luke chapter 19 verse 33, sorry, 37 to 40. Dari Lukas 19, 37. This is very interesting verse, but it could be also very uh, da dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous verse. Menarik tapi juga berbahaya. Lukas 19 ayat 37 sampai 40. Ya. Dua, tiga. Ketika ia dekat Yerusalem di tempat jalan menurun dari bukit Zaitun, mulailah semua murid yang mengiringi dia bergembira dan memuji Allah dengan suara nyaring. Oleh karena segala mujizat yang telah mereka lihat, kata mereka, diberkatilah dia yang datang sebagai raja dalam nama Tuhan. Damai sejahtera di surga dan kemuliaan di tempat yang maha tinggi. Ya, tiga empat puluh ya. Beberapa orang Farisi yang turun dengan orang banyak itu berkata kepada Yesus, Guru, tegurlah murid-muridmu itu. Jawabnya. Aku berkata kepada jika mereka ini diam maka batu ini akan berteriak. Amen. <laughs> now actually this is the same story as we read in Matthew 21. Ini kisah sama yang sama yang kita baca di dalam Matius. That happened on the Sunday which is now remembered as Palm Sunday. Uh, itu uh, Minggu Palm, yeah. jadi di Minggu Palm, Palma. Okay. You know the Palm Sunday, right? Mengerti kan Minggu Palma? Yeah. So we saw that the children with us uh, nah, welcome, tadi, welcome the Lord with uh, you know, palm tree. Membawa Palma, Palm, yeah. Palm, Palm, yeah. Yeah. Palm. Yeah. This is the same, same uh, story. Okay? Ini kisah yang sama. But we can see something, something uh, new. Tapi kita bisa mendapatkan sesuatu yang baru. As Pharisees rebuked Jesus, okay, teacher, rebuke your disciples, okay. So disciples praised Jesus, so that was not acceptable to the Pharisees. Ya, Tuhan Yesus mengajarkan kepada murid-muridnya yang tidak disukai oleh para Farisi. And but then Jesus uh, responded in a very very unexpected way. Tetapi jawaban responnya Tuhan Yesus sangat tidak diharapkan. Jesus said, "If they keep quiet, the stones will cry out." Kalau kamu mereka diam maka batunya akan berteriak. So if they don't praise me. The stones will cry out. Kalau mereka tidak memuji saya, maka batu-batu akan berteriak. But actually, Jesus doesn't didn't use the word praise. Tuhan Yesus tidak mengatakan praise, pujian. Yeah. Instead, Jesus has said, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Kalau mereka diam, mereka akan berteriak. So I told you, okay? So Jesus doesn't like to say, okay? Hey, you need to praise me. Tuhan Yesus tidak mengatakan, tidak suka mengatakan, eh, pujilah saya. 
So uh, serving God <coughs> means okay, we we serve a personality. Personality. Jadi okay. pelayanan yang personal. Yeah. So something we have uh, with our uh, in human relation. So that is also op- that could be applied okay, <coughs> to the relationship with God. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> hmm? The relationship. Okay. Yeah. Itu uh, hubungan dengan Allah. Hmm? So. Um, This is actually the fellowship with God. Actually, fellowship. Uh, uh, fellowship dengan Allah. Fellowship mm-hmm. persekutuan dengan Allah. If God is too high, and if God, uh, if uh, God is quite a different, quite different personality that we cannot even understand, then we 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 cannot have fellowship with God. Kalau Allah itu terlalu tinggi, maka Uh, kita tidak bisa bersekutu dengan Allah. But we can even love God and God loves Tapi us. Tapi bahkan kita bisa mengasihi Allah dan Allah mengasihi kita. <coughs> so in that sense, you may read this, okay? If they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Ya, yeah, <coughs> dituliskan kalau mereka dia maka batu-batu itu akan berteriak. So Jesus was very angry. Okay. Tuhan Yesus sangat marah. But now that tells something to us. Ya, itu memberikan sesuatu mengatakan sesuatu kepada kita. If we don't praise God appropriately, kalau kita tidak memuji Allah dengan benar, if we don't give God um, praise that is do his name kalau kita tidak memberi pujian yang memuliakan namanya uh, chances are the stones uh, near us will cry out uh, batu-batu di sekitar kita akan berteriak mm. keras so i don't want to see that the stones near your churches will cry out <laughs> saya tidak ingin batu-batu di sekitar gereja anda berteriak uh-huh. ya yeah, there will be Not great, not a good sign for you. Nah, ini bukan tanda yang bagus untuk kamu. <coughs> so this is such a warning, warning, okay? Ini sebetulnya peringatan. Yeah. And you know, um, yeah, there are many things we have to learn about uh, this. Banyak hal yang um, harus kita pelajari. Uh, about praise and worship. Um, tentang Pujian dan penyembahan. Um, but I want to just mention one thing, and we go to the next chapter. Kita pergi ke bab yang selanjutnya. Melanjutkan bab selanjutnya. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, can you turn to page 19? 19. Kita lihat halaman 19 mm-hmm. And number 8 <coughs> so, mu- so, Nomor 8 So in the middle, music and inspiration We talk about this Music and inspiration uh, Musik dan inspirasi yeah. Di atasnya nomor 8 ya. So let's read uh, Second King chapter 3 verse 14 to 17 Kita lihat dari dua raja-raja tiga, empat belas sampai tujuh belas. Dua raja-raja tiga, empat belas sampai tujuh belas. Dua, eh, belum. Dua raja-raja tiga, empat belas sampai tujuh belas. Dua, tiga. Berkatalah Elisa, demi Tuhan semesta alam yang hidup, Yang di hadapannya aku menjadi pelayan Jika tidak karena Yosafat Raja Yudha Maka sesungguhnya aku ini tidak akan memandang dan melihat kepadamu Maka sekarang jemputlah bagiku seorang pemetik kecapi Pada waktu pemetik kecapi itu bermain kecapi Maka kuasa saat Tuhan meliputi dia Dan kemudian berkatalah ia Beginilah firman Tuhan 
biarlah dilembari ini buat parit-parit. Sebab beginilah firman Tuhan, kamu tidak akan mendapat angin dan hujan, namun lembah ini akan penuh dengan air, sehingga kamu serta ternak sembelian dan hewan pengangkut dapat minum. Amin. This is a very famous story regarding Elisha. Kisah yang terkenal tentang Elisa. So what is very important here is the relationship between music and inspiration. Apa ini hubungannya antara musik dan inspirasi? So um, it is a, uh, when a Jehoshaphat king, okay. Uh, visited Elijah to ask God's guidance. Um, ini Raja Yusafat mendapatkan pimpinan Tuhan melalui Elisa. Not only he and he came with uh, with Samarian king, Samaritan king. Juga bersama dengan uh, Raja Samaria. And then Elijah said, "Surely as the Lord Almighty lives." Who my sir? If I did not have respect for the presence of Jehoshaphat king, so that means okay, the Samaritan king Elisha did not respect. Okay, but because of just because of King Jehoshaphat, Elisha now wants to give a prophecy. Karena Yusafat Elisha memberikan apa property. Property, yeah. Property, prophecy, propertynya. So now, but something is weird. Verse fifteen. Kita lihat ayat enam belas. Elijah didn't say, okay, so right away. Hey, here is what God says, and this and this and this. No, instead, he said this. Hey, now bring me a harpist. Tuhan Yesus atau Elisa saya mengatakan katakan ini 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 tetapi tu Elisa mengatakan eh bawalah kecapi. What does that mean? Apa artinya? Why he should say this? Bring me a harpist. Kenapa meminta membawakan kecapi? Elisha is one of great prophet of God. Elisha tu nabi yang hebat. So God could directly say to Elisha. Cara langsung cara kepada Elisha. But in this case, tetapi di kasus ini, Elisha seem to need someone else. Elisha memerlukan orang yang lain. And look at this. Lihat ini. While the harpist harpist was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. Ya, kenapa minta dimainkan pemain kecapi di hadapan Elisha? And then he said, "This is what the Lord says." Ini, lalu dia katakan, ini yang Tuhan katakan. So he needed harpist. He need he needed music in order that in order that he hear God's God's voice. In order that, in order to hear God's voice, he needed music. Yeah, untuk mendengarkan suara Allah, dia memerlukan musik. I don't say every time, every time you want to hear God's voice, you need music. Saya tidak katakan setiap kali kamu mau mendengarkan suara Allah, lalu kamu memerlukan musik. Tapi this is a very rare case. Tetapi kasus yang khusus di sini. But what we know is this. From this, okay, what we know is that. Tetapi apa yang kita tahu tentang ini? Sometimes music, kadangkala musik, could be very instrumental for God's prophecy. Tetapi menjadi bagian nubuatan Allah. Okay. So what does that mean to you? Apa artinya bagi saudara? Music is far more important than you might think. Than you might think. Than you might think. Than you think. Music itu jauh lebih penting dari apa yang kamu pikirkan. And let me show one more thing. That is that comes from 
first first chronicle first chronicle <웃음> first chronicle chapter 20 아, yeah. chronicle first, 또 아빠 야 first chronicle yeah. <웃음> chronicle tamari ya okay tamari satu first chronicle chapter 25 alam uh, 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 pasal 25 yeah. chapter 25 verse 1 Ayat 1 Ayat 1 Okay Kita ketemu Sat, First uh, Chronicle First First Chronicle Ya, yeah, 1 Tawarik 25 Ayat 1 Chapter 25 Ya, yeah, okay Okay Read very carefully Ya okay. yeah. uh, Itu uh, hati-hati. Satu Satu Dua Tiga Selanjutnya <laughs> Untuk ibadah jauh Dan para panglima Menunjuk anak-anak asap anak-anak iman dan anak-anak itu mereka penuh kuat dengan diri kecapi gambus dan ceracap daftar orang-orang yang bekerja dalam ibadah ini ialah berikut hmm. I want to know the English translation of Indonesian Bible can you can you try to translate it into English and In the service, serv- serv- service, David service, mm-hmm. and his uh, panglima itu apa? General, army. Mm-hmm. To to point uh, Asaf children, mm-hmm. as Heman children and Yudutun uh, mm-hmm. children. Okay. The prophecy uh, uh-huh. accompanied by. Harp, kat kampus ini pak, lira, harp, yeah, and what is trumpet? Layers, and like uh, harp and cymbals. Ah, uh, cymbal, right? Good. No, no, no. It's yeah. it's, it's good. No, who, the the it's written that way. Then Herman and Jetutu who prophesied to the accompaniment of lyres and harp. <coughs> is that correct? Siapa yang uh, ber- prophesied? Membuat? diiringi de, uh, musik ini. So can you can you uh, uh, trace the dead part? Okay? Mereka. Mereka. Regarding they. prophecy. Regarding prophecy. Okay. They. Huh? They. They. Yeah. They. They. Pro, 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 prophecy. They prophesied. Yeah, prophesied. Great. Okay. Yeah. They prophesied. According to. Uh, 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 To the accompaniment of liars, I guess yeah. that's it, right? Okay, this Indonesian Bible is uh, very, very authentic. Yeah, this yeah, is authentic. very correct. Yeah. yeah, Korean Bible is kind of wrong. Uh, Korean uh, Bible. Korea agak berbeda dan tidak benar. So here, Korean Bible says uh, they sang spiritual songs. Di sini dikatakan kalau ke bahas, uh, Alkitab pertama Rather Korea, than, mereka rather than menyanyikan they, lagu rohani Rather than they prophesy Daripada mereka bernubuat So they prophesy is, is correct Mereka bernubuat yeah. itu benar So I don't know why Korean Bible translated that way okay? Aku gak ngerti kenapa uh, terjemahan Koreanya begitu So Music is related to <coughs> prophecy. Jadi musik itu berhubungan dengan nubuat. Praise music, okay? M- musik pujian. Now, here the prophecy is 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 not saying that uh, something that you foresee, something that you see, okay, things that yet to come. Nah, jadi uh, bukan hanya akan melihat yang akan datang tapi juga yang akan uh, ya jauh tapi juga yang akan datang yang akan terjadi atau yang akan datang uh, rather actually it means uh, we speak to others what God is saying to us yeah? Yeah. God is saying to us something then we speak this to other people okay? yeah, this jadi, is also prophecy jadi uh, prophecy bisa apa yang Tuhan hmm. katakan lalu baru disampaikan kepada rakyat Okay, so uh, in in Korean there are two different different uh, terms. Yeon Yeon means ada dua kalimat di dalam kata di dalam Korea. Uh, foretell, foretell. That means you tell something 
in which will take place in the future. Mengatakan sesuatu yang akan datang tentang yang akan datang. And day on, day on, day on means you tell something what God wants you to tell something. What God, what God wants you, wants you to tell. Mengatak, melakukan sesuatu yang Tuhan katakan. So God says to you, then hey. You need to tell people this and this, okay? Then he, like Moses, okay, he tells people something like that. This is their own. Yeah, their own. This is what the Tuhan mengatakan kepada Musa. Lalu orang katakan, "Hey, kamu dengarkan Musa." So it could be, it could be regarded as also prophecy. Itu juga nubuatan. Sometimes, you know, it could, it could, it, it is about. The future, future things, right? Ini untuk sesuatu yang akan datang. But the point is that God wants to, God wants us to speak something. Then it is more like a day on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the emphasis is not not on the future thing. Yeah. The emphasis on okay. The God's as a God's delegation. Yeah. Tuhan mau mendelegasikan. But it is not not like you know oil and water. Okay. Yeah. There is no no one hundred percent separation. Ini tidak begitu sangat terpisah seperti air dan minyak. So anyway, we go back to the second king. Okay. Kembali ke dua raja. So here, when the harpist was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. Dua raja berapa tadi? Dua raja tiga empat belas. Yep. So this is the power of music. Ini kekuatan musik. And especially when this music contains God's word. Ketika musik itu berisi firman Allah, the music could be very powerful. Musik itu akan sangat powerful and very inspirational dan sangat menginspirasi. So with music, then you know why why in the church people become like a different person. Kenapa kamu tahu apa kenapa gereja atau orang di gereja menjadi orang yang berbeda? Sometimes you know the the music, the praise music, okay, the atmosphere. Karena musik changes people's personality. Atmosfer dari musik ini merubah mereka. So the power of music is is proven in many cases. Kekuatan musik sudah dibuktikan dalam berbagai kasus. For example, in a very practical, very practical example, in the supermarket, in a very big market. Misalnya di supermarket yang besar. So you don't want to play a very as a music with fast tempo. Mereka tidak mau mendengarkan musik yang cepat. If you are if you are the owner of the supermarket, kalau kamu pemilik yang supermarket, supermarket, you play a very slow music. Kamu akan kamu akan memainkan musik yang lambat. Why? Kenapa? So on ke? To to make people want to stay there more long. Yeah, yeah, mega mati. Yeah, this is very easy to understand, right? Yeah. yeah. If the tempo is very fast, okay. Kalau temponya cepat, the people will go very fast, okay? Karena orang juga akan cepat, 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 cepat. But the tempo is very slow. Karena temponya slow. Okay. Orangnya juga. Oh, I need, I need that. Oh, I need that. Okay. Yeah, I need that too. Yeah. This is a business, okay? So this is only one, 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 one very interesting story example, but it shows music can influence a lot to us. Jadi ini sebetulnya membuktikan musik itu bisa mempengaruhi banyak mempengaruhi kita. So we have to be very careful to select 
What kind of music? Jadi kita mestinya harus selektif memilih jenis musik. And what kind of accompaniment do Dan we use for the glory of God? Jenis dari pelayan uh, uh, iringan untuk kita gunakan memuliakan Allah. Yesterday we heard uh, Matthew Passion, right? Kita mendengarkan Matthew Passion. So it it was really pathetic, but it was glorious. Okay? It very what? Pathetic, pathetic. So it's kind of sorrow, yeah, yeah, sorrowful. Yeah. Yeah. Seperti uh, apa? Men- penderitaan, tetapi juga mulia. But at the same time, magnificent. Tapi dalam waktu yang sama, uh, magnificent apa? Mulia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Bach had to uh, thought about what would be the best. Best expression ya, Pak juga memikirkan bagaimana ekspresi yang bagus for the passion of Christ. Untuk pas uh, pas hmm. pasion tentang Kristus itu apa? Hmm. Uh, pasi. It took Bach very long, okay, to to come up to that idea. Uh, uh, itu idenya ada hukum-hukumnya Bach uh, yang dipakai. And we also have to have, okay, a very lengthy, lengthy <coughs> thought on. What kind of music style will be the best fitting to express? Okay, okay. Sometimes you know what and what. Okay. Yeah. Jadi kita juga harus memikirkan uh, musik yang baik nih seperti apa okay. yang paling baik. And I look at number eight. This number is number Okay. <coughs> and my 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 hope is that you experience something in your music okay. while you. While you play music for the glory of God, okay, and then sometimes, okay, you will experience something wonderful. Yeah, uh, <coughs> okay. Kamu melakukan itu melayani Tuhan ya, okay. Tapi kamu uh, kadang melakukan sesuatu yang indah. So let's read First um, Samuel twenty twelve verse twenty two. Yeah, here. Yeah. Right. Satu Samuel. 12 ayat yang ke-22 1 sama 12 ayat yang ke-22 ya 2 2 1 1 2 3 sebab Tuhan tidak akan membuat membuang umatnya sebab namanya yang besar bukankah Tuhan telah berkenan untuk Now uh, we we need to learn something that is not not really uh, not frequently taught. No, we, we, no. we need to know something yeah. that is not frequently taught uh, the, in in the church. Yeah, not re- not frequently taught. <laughs> 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And the other words, just, just read this in 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 Indonesia. God, God who guides and endures us for the sake of glory and praise. Yeah. Allah yang membimbing kita dan memberikan kekuatan kita yang membuat membuat kita tahan itu untuk kemuliaan dan pujian. Hmm. Now, in First Samuel uh, 12, 22, says, For the sake of His great name, okay, for His great name, the Lord will not reject His people. Nah, untuk kemuliaan namanya, Allah tidak membuang orang, tidak menolak orang. So you, might, you want to see, okay, for His great love for us, the Lord will not reject His people. Jadi okay. untuk melihat uh, kemuliaan Allah orang tidak ditolak oleh Allah. So we want to see something like that, okay? Kita, uh, kita akan ingin melihat itu. But we need to understand. Kita harus tahu. God, for God, His name is the most important one. Nah, nama Allah itu sangat penting. Okay. So Psalm 23 verse 3. Uh, Matmur 23 ayat 3. So Psalm 23 is the psalm that we all like. Psalm 23 ayat yang ke 3. 
So, verse 1 to 3, let's read oh, one, verse 1 to 3. Ayat 1, 2, 3, ya. Mas nomor 1, 3, ayat 1, 2, dan 3. 2, 3. Mas nomor 2, Tuhan adalah gembalaku takkan kekurangan aku. Ia membaringkan aku di padang yang berumput hijau. Ia memberi aku ke air yang tenang. Ia menyegarkan jiwaku. Ia menuntut aku di jalan yang benar. Oleh karena namanya. Ah, I love this psalm very much. Uh, dia beliau sangat senang dengan Mas Muri. Yeah. And in verse 3 sometimes it, it is uh, something that I don't I didn't understand fully. Jadi ayat <coughs> kali kadang-kadang enggak ngerti sepenuhnya. I wish I wish okay the Bible uh, reads like He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His great love to us. Aku juga mengharapkan uh, ini ayat yang ketiga ini. Uh, yang ketiga. I wish, okay. Uh, uh, Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I wish. You wish. Uh, Bible. Uh, Alkitab. Reads like He guides me in paths of righteousness for yeah. His great love to us. Uh, Tuhan membimbing aku dan menuntun aku untuk uh, karena namanya. But the Bible is written differently. Okay? Tapi uh, Alkitab yang mengatakan yang lain. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Tetapi dia katakan di sini dia menuntun aku ke jalannya yang benar untuk. His so name actually. His name, his name six. No? Yeah, for his name's sake. Oleh karena namanya. Okay, is the same? Yeah. 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 For six. Yeah. So actually, the for his name's sake, it is the conclusion or the purpose for verse one to three. Ini konklusi dari ayat satu, dua, dan tiga. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. God provides everything and God leads us to the water, okay? Tuhan and green water. So we are so happy. Kita senang. And why God leads us amen, for, for our happiness? Apakah Tuhan melakukan untuk kesenangan kita? <coughs> no, the Bible says for Bukan. his name's sake. Tetapi untuk kemuliaan namanya. So we know we have to know that okay for God kita harus tahu ini. his name is the most important nama Tuhan itu yang paling penting that doesn't mean that God doesn't love us God tidak, loves us tidak berarti Tuhan tidak cinta kita because it is written in the bible tapi ini tertulis karena ini tertulis yeah. di Alkitab but this is also written in the bible so we uh, we we believe in this tapi yeah? ini juga ditulis di Alkitab maka kita percaya ini But the fact that God loves us, we believe that too. Uh, Allah cinta kita ya, kita percaya itu juga. So we have to know those two things. Kita yeah. harus tahu kedua hal ini. And look at Isaiah 48. Uh, Yesaya 48. Chapter as a verse 9 to 11. Kita lihat Yesaya 48. Ayat 9 sampai 11 9 to 11 mm -hmm. 9 to 11 Isaiah 2 2, 3 Oleh karena nama Ayo 2, 3 Oleh karena namaku Aku menahan amaraku Dan oleh karena kemasyuranku Aku mengasihi engkau Sehingga aku tidak melenyapkan engkau Sesungguhnya aku telah memulihkan engkau Namun bukan seperti perak tetapi aku telah memuji engkau dalam dapur kesengsaraan. Aku akan melakukannya oleh karena aku. Ia berkah aku sendiri. Sebab masakan namamu akan dinyatakan. Aku tidak akan memberikan kemuliaanku kepada yang lain. Ah, yeah. So we see, okay? Uh, what is very important in in God's mind? Ya, itu uh, pentingnya uh, nama Allah. Verse 9 says, for my own name say I delay my wrath. I delay? I delay my wrath. 
For my own name's sake, I delay my breath. Breath ke apa? Breath. Breath. Breath apa tu pak? Tak terso. Breath. 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 W R A T H. Breath. Breath. W R A T H. Breath. For my own name say I delay my wrath. Ya, karena namaku maka untuk namaku sendiri maka aku menunda murka. And for the sake of my praise I hold it back from you. For the sake of my praise I hold hold it back from you. It means wrath. Untuk memuji aku maka aku kembali kepada. Okay, for the sake of my praise. Untuk memuji nama aku. Is it written in the Indonesian Bible? This is the same meaning. Yeah. Verse nine. Verse nine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Menakan nama aku. So we can substitute this, okay, for for my own name's sake, okay, substitute it for for my love to you. Okay, I delay my breath. Okay, it, it is also possible. Ini juga bisa uh, diganti. Mungkin juga kalau untuk kasihku, aku menunda marahku, amarahku. So actually, the two things are not actually exactly two things. For God's eyes, it could be one. Okay. Love for us yeah. and love for His own name. It could uh. be. Keduanya harus satu. Because the 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 result is the same. Result is the same. Okay, I delay. I delay my rest. Okay. Aku menunda menahan amarah. Now let's talk about this for my own name's sake. For my own name's sake. Okay. God. Untuk nama ku. X. God does so many things for His own name's sake. God does many things for yeah. His own name's sake. Uh, huh? yeah. yeah. God does have many things, many things, many things yeah. for His own name's sake. For His own untuk, name. Yeah, untuk namanya. Uh huh. So now, untuk namanya. we, when someone, okay, let me tell you this: when we see someone, Kalau okay, kita menunggu seorang, who does so many things for for his own name, we don't like him. That's the song. When we Sorry. see someone who does so many things for his name, we don't like him normally. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Understand? Yeah. If we see a human, okay, who does all things for his own name, segalanya untuk namanya sendiri. We think very egoistic. Mungkin kita katakan itu egois. And then we don't like him. Kita tidak akan senang. If we see someone who acts altruistic, so who acts for other people, then we love him. Yeah, kalau ada orang yang melakukan memberi membagikan kepada banyak orang, maka kita akan menyenangi orang itu. So automatically, we 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 think that way. Secara otomatis kita akan memikirkan seperti itu. Why? Kenapa? Kenapa kita tidak suka kalau orang lain Why we hate someone? Why we hate someone who does everything for himself and who acts very egoistic? Kenapa kita membenci orang yang segala sesuatu untuk dirinya sendiri? Is it because, because he doesn't deserve that? He? He? 
He doesn't deserve, yeah. okay, that kind of fame or, okay, we know his name is not that worth. Yeah, karena enggak, itu namanya enggak berarti. Yeah. But it's quite different matter. Ini lain. God's name is the most glorious name, the only name that is that deserves our praise. Ya, jadi karena Allah itu namanya uh, berkuasa atau penting, maka kita mau uh, uh, apa, memberikan sesuatu kepadanya. Huh? You understand? So God should, God should, God should. Do everything for His name. Tuhan melakukan sesuatu uh, untuk namanya. Yeah. Because God is the only one who knows the value of His name. Karena Tuhanlah yang tahu nilai dari namanya. And His name is above all names. Karena namanya uh, uh, lebih dari segala nama. And His name is the one. Which deserves glory and honor and praise forever. Yeah, karena uh, namanya itu layak untuk segala pujian yang selama lamanya. So it is actually God who knows how to and what to do for His name. Nah, jadi kita perlu mengetahui segala satu untuk namanya. Okay. So. God should do like that. Yeah, for Tuhan His name's sake, I delay my wrath. Yes, Lord, you should do more, more and more to protect your name and for your name's sake. Yeah, yeah. Kau harus melindungi lebih dan lebih lagi untuk namamu. Amen. Amen. It is our faith. Itu pujian kita. But it's quite different matter when we see someone who is sinner, okay? Who is sinner like us and who wants to do everything for his name, his name, sinner's name, okay? Yeah, kalau kita melakukan oh. kepada seseorang yang pendosa, okay. uh, untuk apa? Itu namanya pendosa, untuk orang pendosa. That, that we don't like. Oh, it's miserable. Okay. Nah, itu enggak, enggak, enggak penting. Hey, your name is a sinner's name. Huh? Namamu adalah nama... Yang penuh dosa, so yang filthy dosa. sinners, you need Jesus' blood. Kamu perlu darah huh? Tuhan Yesus. Your name is not valuable. Namamu enggak bernilai. Actually, maybe without you, the world is better place. Tanpa <laughs> namamu, dunia juga terberkati. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So it is quite different matter, okay? Ini masalah yang sangat berbeda. So when we see something like that, for the sake of my praise, I hold my wrath back from you, then our response is, yes, Lord, you should do like that. Ya, karena namaku, aku menunda marahku, makanya kita katakan, ya, aku Actually, we melakukan itu untuk kamu. Yeah, actually, we don't know how to how to protect his name appropriately. Sebetulnya kita tidak tahu bagaimana melindungi nama Allah itu dengan tepat. Okay. Let's say there is a king of kings. We 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 haven't met, for example, we haven't met king, but there is a king of kings. Jadi ada raja di atas segala raja. Then how to serve him? We don't know actually. Bagaimana yeah? melayani dia kita enggak uh, mengerti sebetulnya. We never had any idea. We 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 have any idea on how to serve king, but he is a king of kings. Bagaimana melayani dia karena dia raja di atas segala raja. So the king of king, he is the only one who knows how to protect his nah, name. Dia sendiri raja di atas segala raja yang tahu bagaimana melindungi namanya. Okay. So this is amazing glorious thing. Okay? That God protects his name for his name's sake he do many things. Okay? Ya, yeah, we say amen. melindungi namanya dan untuk namanya itu dia hmm. me hmm. Uh, uh, apa? melakukan segala Okay. Wow. Now we have to go to the next chapter. 
We don't have time, so we cannot. Oh, chapter three. Chapter three. Page twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. Yeah. So we have another introduction. Okay. So I don't think we have time for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. <coughs> yeah. So this is. This is the most important thing we have to deal with. Um, okay, okay. So, um, we just study a little bit of the, the, the cloud of glory. Yeah? The cloud of glory. We, we, we talk about a little bit of cloud of glory. What page? Page 23. 23. Yeah, page 23. To a Okay. So, uh, this is a very famous story. Ini kisah yang sangat terkenal. This is the glory, uh, the one of uh, one of the most glorious scenes in the Bible. Ini uh, kemuliaan yang tampak yang paling uh, paling hebat di dalam Alkitab. This is dedication ceremony of King Solomon's temple. Ini uh, dikasihkan di dalam <coughs> Salomon Temple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It took rumah, him rumah, rumah ibadah Salomon. <laughs> It took him almost seven years to finish to finish this temple. Uh, yeah, dia menyerahkan tujuh tahun, seven years. Mm, seven years. Yeah. The Bible says. Yeah. So and then after everything is done, then setelah semuanya selesai, he um, Offered lots of lots of sacrifices to the Lord. Dia memberikan persembahan yang banyak, korban yang banyak kepada Allah. And then he um, appointed a Levite, the leaders to praise God. Jadi uh, para Levi memuji Tuhan. So everything is written here. So we want to read this. Second Chronicles chapter five. Second Chronicle, chapter five. Dua Tawarik pasal lima. Dua Tawarik pasal lima. I want you to read, okay, from yeah, actually from verse one to verse one to. So this is Second Chronicle, right? Okay, Second Chronicles. Okay. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Okay. Yeah, verse one to fourteen. So one by one. Okay, each one reads verse one and verse two, verse three, verse four. Okay, good. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Martin, you begin. Verse one. <laughs> okay, you. Yang tidak terhitung dan tidak terbilang banyak. Kemudian ini memang membawa satu kejadian yang sangat istimewa. Di luar 
Amin, amin. Wow. So I told you, okay. So one way to understand the Bible, you know, you know, in reality, in a real sense, is to imagine as if you watch the movie. Yeah. Okay. Saudara perlu membayangkan kalau membaca seperti melihat bioskop. Now. Um, this is a culmination, I would say, this is culmination of the history of Israel in the Old Testament. In what? Culmination or in, in the what? history of oh, yeah. Israel. Yeah. Culmination. 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 Di dalam? The climax. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. In, in what? In the history of Israel. Uh, yeah. In the Old Testament. Yeah. Di dalam sejarah Kristen. So to build God's temple is a big thing. Okay, it's a big matter, great matter. Who was Abraham? And then God called him to be his servant. It was Abraham. Yeah, Abraham. Yeah. That God called him to be his servant. Uh, memanggil dia untuk menjadi hambanya. And then he, uh, God led him uh, in a way that uh, he has he had relationship uh, with God. Dia punya hubungan dengan Allah. And then uh, they become more and more. And when they came out from Egypt, okay, many, 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 many thousand, okay, banyak sekali, ribuan orang. And then they became more and more, and they got richer, richer and richer. Mereka dibuat terus bertumbuh dan mereka makin kaya. Because they came from, they came from. Egypt, okay. they got uh, precious stones and many things Jadi, from, from the, the people of Egypt. Okay. <laughs> and then those things they put, they gave uh, to make tabernacle. Okay. Okay. And then, so they, yeah, they had to find Look at the whole history. Panjang sejarah. 
here. So now, <coughs> after what, what, what happened after, after this culmination, apa yang terjadi setelah titik puncak ini? His kingdom was divide, divided in two. Uh, kerajaannya terpisah menjadi dua. And that's because of all the sinfulness of the king. Karena dosa dari raja. And then they <laughs> became <laughs> weaker and weaker. And then the Israel, the, the, the northern kingdom is uh, is uh, uh, destroyed by Assyria. This is 722. And the southern kingdom, southern kingdom, was also destroyed by Babylon. Okay. Yeah, Babylon around 500, 560 something. Good. So we see this in one big picture. Okay. So now you know that Solomon's temple, okay, is at the uh, culmination of the old, his, old testament. Yeah, culminasi dari perjanjian lama. If if after the dedication of temple, okay, if after the dedication of temple, the kingdom of Israel became more strong, then. This is not a combination. <laughs> but right after that, and Solomon, and Solomon's son, son's generation, kingdom was divided. So they began to go down. So that makes that makes this occasion the culmination. Yeah. And sure, after that, it's okay. Okay, I will I will, I will continue this. Okay, after that, yes. there there were few time of revival. Okay, King Jehoshaphat. So a little bit of revival, revival, kebangkitan. And then here uh, Hezekiah, 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 okay, Hezekiah, and then Joshua, King of King of Judah, okay, yeah, yeah. But this is kind of a little bit revival, revival, but kebangkitan, kebangkitan. It is actually downfall. They couldn't, they couldn't revert. They couldn't okay, um, go to the another, another culmination. There was, unfortunately, the history of Israel. And now we are at the center of this, this ceremony of dedication of temple. Ceremony So how important how important is this ceremony, right? Who? And this temple was built according to God's will actually. God gave them even the draft draft of the temple. Yeah. How they should be in the temple. Yeah. Okay. Mana dia harus membuat itu rumah Allah sesuai dengan rencana Allah. It's God's will. And then God provided actually everything the Solomon needed to accomplish. Tuhan sudah mempersiapkan semua yang bukan oleh Solomon. So God was very pleased. God was very pleased. God was very pleased. Yeah. The whole thing. So now look at this very carefully. After the completion of this, so King Solomon dedicated the sacrifice, 
offer lots and lots of sacrifice that they couldn't count. They couldn't count. Okay? Yeah. And then the priest okay, brought the Ark of the Covenant to its place. So because the, the, the Ark of the Covenant was, was, was at the tent of ten, okay, here, and then at the tent, at the tent. So before, before the temple was above, so no, completely, it was in the tent. And then the priest came on back and was in the tent. He's brought to, he's brought to this, the designated place. So, so it took, it took until this culmination, it took a few thousand years. Thousands of years. Okay? So God had to wait. Okay? few thousands of years until this moment comes. And then look at this. <coughs> so, everything is ready now. Everything is completed. But still, there was no cloud of glory yet. Everything is completed. But nevertheless, there was no God's glory. There was no cloud of glory yet. Why? Kenapa? The answer is here. Jawabannya di sini. Verse 12 and 13. Okay. Ayat ke-12. So, verse 12 says, Now even all the musicians prepared were stationed. Okay? Were prepared to sing. But not begin. Not begun. Okay? Not begun. Mereka mempersiapkan musik-musik not mulai, belum mulai. And there were 120, 120 priests with trumpet. Okay. Ada 120 pemain trompet. Even looking at the scene would be very glorious. Mereka melihat betapa mulianya. A new building and so many people are there. Okay. Itu indahnya bangunan dan banyak orang di sana. But actually nothing happened yet. Tapi belum terjadi apa-apa. And let's read verse 13 together. Lalu kita membaca ayat 3 bersama-sama. 2, 3. Tiga. Lalu para penduduk nafiri dan para penduduk itu selesai memperdengarkan pada keluarga untuk menyanyikan kesibukian dan syukur kepada Tuhan. Mereka menyanyikan suara dan nafiri Jelajah dan alat-alat musik sambil memuji Tuhan dengan ucapan sebab Ia baik bahwasanya untuk selama lamanya kasih setia. Pada ketika itu umat itu dengan mengatakan kepada Allah, the building of the Lord's temple was filled with a cloud. Ya, kemudian rumah Allah itu terpenuhi dengan awan. When? Kapan? When the trumpeters and singers were heard, yeah, as a single voice praising and giving thanks to the Lord. <coughs> now they begin to praise God. Yeah. yeah, now they begin to praise God with all the instruments and all the voice. Then, kemudian. The temple was filled with cloud of glory. Rumah Allah itu penuh dengan awan kemuliaan. What does that mean? Apa arti? Feeling of the cloud of glory. What, what does that mean? Cloud of glory. Is this cloud for raining? Apa artinya awan kemuliaan untuk hujan? Seperti hujan? No, it has nothing to do with rain. Itu bukan hujan. 
cloud of glory means God's presence. Uh, aman kemuliaan Allah artinya kehadiran Allah. But cloud of glory is actually God's visible presence. Jadi artinya adalah Tuhan nampak di sana. So God is everywhere but is not visible. Allah ada di mana-mana tapi tidak nampak. God is in essence invisible, invisible, <laughs> invisible. Allah, yeah? Allah ada di mana-mana tapi ya, tidak tampak. But cloud of glory means his visible presence. Tetapi awan kemuliaan itu artinya Allah nampak. So lihat. he shows that hey people I'm here. Dia menam, menam, menyatakan, "Hey, rakyat umat, aku ada di sini." And saying that, "I'm very glad here." Okay. Lalu dia katakan, "Aku yeah. senang." Yeah, I'm very glad. Okay. Just to see, just to see the new building. Uh, hanya melihat bangunan yang baru. People think that, "Wow, God is very happy to see this new building." May, maybe God says, okay, "Hey, I'm very happy to listen to this praise music." Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very sure God is very pleased to see the new building. But one thing is very clear. Tapi sangat jelas. Even as the building is already completed, meskipun semuanya bangunnya sudah lengkap, and even as all the utensils and all the the the, the, the ark of ark of covenant is stationed as it should be, ya meskipun sebagai perlengkapannya, beberapanya sudah lengkap sana. God did not show His presence. Allah tidak yeah. menampakkan kehadirannya. Only, no, yeah, only after. The praise begun. Only after the praise begun, God began to show His presence. Allah mulai menampakkan kemuliaan. Now I'm here with you. He was so pleased that he wanted to show people His presence. Dia dia senang dan menunjukkan kepada umat. Hallelujah. Okay. So now, this shows us something. This tells us something. Ini mengatakan, menunjukkan sesuatu kepada. Wow! Yes, God waited for long, okay, for the completion of His temple. Iya, Allah menunggu lama untuk penyelesaian bait Allah ini. But also, He has been waiting so long for this moment of this praise festival. Tetapi dia juga menunggu lama untuk festival yang besar ini. Yeah, where 120 priests began to blow the trumpets. Ketika festival pujian itu dimainkan dengan trompet, maka ada kemuliaan. And the Levite choir began to sing. Paduan suara mulai menyanyi, and the many people then okay played the musical instrument. Dan banyak orang memainkan instrumen musik. Can you imagine the sound? Anda boleh membayangkan bagaimana suaranya. Maybe like we hear now. Mungkin seperti yang kita sudah. Wow, it could be very noisy, ya. Mungkin sangat pasti ramai sekali. But if it is controlled by a almost the yeah, professional conductor, I I I I'm sure there was a conductor, okay? Yeah. 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 Conductor hey, now is the time you begin. Now is the time you yeah. begin, right? <laughs> wow, this would be magnificent. And you know what? God seemed to feel the same way. Dan Allah cenderung melakukan hal yang sama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And this is great teaching to us. This is a great teaching to us. Ya, untuk itu dia menciptakan kita. Now let me ask you a question. Saya mau bertanya. Now the temple 
is amazing and they finish it in, a, in a full perfection and it's so beautiful. Rumah Allah itu sungguh bagus dengan sangat sempurna dengan segala hal. But if the music dan kalau musik is not well prepared, tidak dipersiapkan dengan baik, <laughs> they make mistakes. Okay, ping, pop, ping, pop, ping. <laughs> And then, think, hey, you stop there. It's not the way, the, not the moment you play simple. <laughs> And it's just, the choir sings awful, okay? Oh, yeah, kalau penyanyinya enggak ke peruan, mungkin akan... They should watch, juga. they should they should look kalau, at the conductor, yeah. okay? Mereka tidak bisa, mereka harus melihat kendaktor. But the many of many of them just watch the smartphone, okay? Kalau hanya melihat smartphone. Huh? So the song and music was awful. Maka uh, musiknya akan tidak menarik yang baik. Do you think God will like that? Apakah saudara uh, berpikir Tuhan senang itu? Maybe, maybe chances are. God doesn't appear. Mungkin Allah tidak akan hadir. It is not honoring God. If our music is not well prepared, it is not honoring God. Jadi kalau musik kita tidak kita persiapkan dengan baik, maka itu tidak memuliakan Allah. So God will leave them. God will leave you. Tuhan akan meninggalkan kamu. Then the stones. The stones <laughs> batu -batu will begin to cry out. Mulai berteriak. Oh, I don't want to see that. Aku tidak ingin melihat itu. Yeah. So before you begin your praise ministry, sebelum, see to it that whether there are stones. <laughs> so, <laughs> sebelum kamu membuat pelayanan musik, maka batu-batunya singkirkan dulu. So every time you begin your praise ministry, think of this. Jadi setiap moment. kalian membuat uh, pelayanan musik maka pikirkanlah ini. I really want to see, I really want to hear a news from you that, oh, as I began to praise God, I saw a cloud of glory. Ya, yeah, aku ingin mendengarkan waktu kamu menyanyi atau memuji Tuhan maka aku melihat kemuliaan Tuhan. I will, I will be so happy to hear that. Uh, dia akan senang sekali mendengar itu. Amen. Now these days, okay, yeah, we don't see God's the cloud of glory as as they saw cloud of glory in Old Testament. Ya, mungkin kita enggak bisa melihat kemuliaan Allah seperti yang tampak di dalam Perjanjian Lama ini. But I tell you something. Tetapi yeah? saya akan memberitahu saudara sesuatu. Cloud of glory. That means actually presence of God, right? Tapi uh, awan kemuliaan ini sebetulnya adalah kehadiran Allah. Why God is present there? Kenapa Allah hadir di sana? Because God is pleased. Karena Allah disenangkan, yeah. berkenan. Yeah. So think of God is God is a personality. Ini uh, huh? personality Allah. Yeah. So then, in this New Testament time, God will, God will present where, where God is pleased. Okay. Where God will present. Where God is pleased. Okay. Tuhan akan hadir kalau kita memperkenankan dia. So if your praise ministry please God. Tapi ketika makanya kalau anda melayani pelayanan pujian. Perkenankanlah Allah. He will be there. Untuk hadir di sana. Okay. Amen. Amen. And I'm sure he will do something. Ah, saya yakin dia akan melakukan sesuatu. I don't know. It could be maybe a revival of the church. Ah, saya nggak tahu. Mungkin ada kebangkitan di gereja. It could be a yeah, miracle. Ah, ah, keajaiban. Or we don't see anything, okay? Atau mungkin yeah. kita tidak melihat sesuatu. Because God shouldn't, God shouldn't have to do something always after He got, okay, He got praise. Uh, Tuhan yeah. tidak harus no. selalu melakukan langsung sesuatu setelah yeah. kita memuji Allah. It's God's freedom. 
itu ke ke kehendak ke Allah bebas. God can do something but God cannot do something, okay? Tuhan bisa God melakukan sesuatu, bisa juga tidak melakukan sesuatu. That that is not our goal. Though. Itu okay? bukan tujuan kita. We don't want to, okay? It is not our purpose to to move God to do something for us. Itu bukan tujuan kita untuk menggerakkan Allah melakukan sesuatu. Okay? Be careful, okay? Hati-hati. We don't want to man, okay, manipulate God. Kami kita tidak memanipulasi so Allah. So that God do something, Allah God does something for us untuk kita. No. Bukan. Tidak. Our goal Tujuan is kita adalah to please him untuk uh, to give God glory memberikan uh, kemuliaan pada Allah because he did so many things to us karena dia melakukan sesuatu banyak hal untuk kita amen yeah so if we pleased with our praise then that's it that's it that is that is <laughs> If we pleased God yeah, with yeah. our praise yeah, it, and it, our purpose is accomplished. Ya, yeah. kalau kita mem, mem, memper, diperkenan Tuhan atau memperkenankan Tuhan dalam dengan pujian pelayan pujian kita, itu sudah selesai. Yeah. Itu tujuannya sudah selesai. Okay. There shouldn't be no other purpose than that. Dan mestinya uh, tidak boleh ada tujuan yang lain. So sometimes we hear this, okay? Kadang-kadang kita mendengar ini. Praise uh, ministers and the worship leaders say like that. Okay? We praise God and okay, maybe 10 minutes, 30 minutes they praise God, okay? Tuhan 10 menit mungkin. And then dan kemudian they say mereka berkata, "Now that we praise God, dan sekarang kita memuji God is here. Tuhan di sini." So far is good, okay? It's good, bagus. Then he will bless us. Dia akan memberkati kita. That's not right. Itu enggak benar. We don't know whether God will bless us or not. Kita enggak tahu Tuhan memberkati kita atau enggak. Because if you if you say like that, okay? Kalau kamu mengatakan seperti itu, God will bless us. It, it sounds like it uh, memberkati it kita. It sounds like our Final purpose is seperti tujuan akhir kita adalah to be blessed by God untuk diberkati Allah. No, that's wrong. Itu salah. Okay. Our final purpose is tujuan akhir kita adalah to please God with our praise untuk memperkenankan untuk diperkenan Allah dengan pujian kita. And that's it. Itu yeah. sudah selesai. Amen. Yeah. So there is danger always, okay? Ini and bahaya. And many praise ministers they Banyak make mistake. Pelayan, pujian. So now Lalu is the time kesalahan. for blessing and now is the time that God will heal our our prayer. No, no, no. Nah, Tuhan di sini. Uh, Let me tell you kita this. Kita mendapat berkat. Why I am saying is this is this. Um I mentioned about a theologian whose name is uh, Klaus Westermann, okay? yeah, a German nah, theologian. Sudah disebutkan okay? kemarin tentang uh, seorang teolog Jerman. He studied the whole psalm. Not only the whole psalm, he studied also psalm of Babylon and psalm of Egypt. Nah, dia sebetulnya tidak hanya belajar Mazmur tapi Mazmur Babylon dan Mazmur Mesir. Hmm. Oh, are you surprised by that? Oh, Babylon they have also some, and then Egypt they have also some. Nah, Babylon ternyata juga punya some dan uh, I told Mesir you. juga. I told you the original original title is not some that is Mizmor or yeah. Tehillah. Te, te, uh, aslinya, tehilim, tehilim, okay? bukan okay. the, meaning of, yeah, te, the meaning of tehilim is hymn book, hymn book, hymn book, hymn book, hymn book or the oh, hymns, hymn. hymns, okay, okay, songs of praise, song of praise. So there are Babylonian gods. Jadi ada Allah Babylonia. So Babylonian people have songbook for their own gods. Uh, dia, Babylonia yeah. juga 
buat lagu buat hmm. uh, song operate itu untuk alahnya ya yeah, and then egyptian people uh, have their own gods okay? uh, mesir juga punya alahnya sendiri so they have their own song books for Dia their own gods uh, song book lagu pujian untuk alahnya So Klaus Westermann start Klaus Westermann studied also Babylonian songs and Egyptian songs. And he found something very important. Sesuatu yang penting. Uh, there was a great difference, fundamental difference between Babylonian psalm and psalm of Israel. Jadi ada perbedaan yang sangat besar antara Babylonia dan Mesir, ya, yeah. Salam Mesir dan yeah. Babylonia. In Babylonian Psalm, okay, Dalam they normally be- begin with praising their own God. Okay. Memulai dengan puji yeah. Allah. Yeah. We praise you, you are holy and Dalam you are beautiful. Puji engkau, <laughs> engkau mulia, <laughs> yeah. suci. Yeah. Okay. They do so many things, so many good things, okay? Dia so they they call their God baik, with the beautiful names, just like that. And we praise you, we honor you. Kita memuliakan, kami memuliakan engkau. And there is second part. Itu kemudian di bagian kedua. <laughs> Now that we praise you, saya kami memuji engkau. Please give me a new job. Berikanlah saya pekerjaan yang baru. So they act many times like that, okay? Uh, mereka ber- ber- bertanya seperti itu, berkata seperti itu, ber- ber- berkali-kali. <laughs> so now it is very apparent what is their purpose. <laughs> Jadi sekarang kita tahu apa tujuannya, tujuan mereka. They want a new job actually. Mereka ingin mendapatkan pekerjaan yang baru. So in order to that they want to appease, they want to appease God, their own God first, okay? Jadi bukan untuk diperkenan Allah. On the contrary, dan yang berkontras dengan itu, the Klaus Westermann, Klaus Westermann, uh, couldn't find anything like that. Menemukan apapun seperti itu in the Psalm of Israel. Eh, di dalam Mazmurnya Israel. There is no such psalm. No, there is one, at least one such psalm. There is no such Satu psalm. Pun tidak. In the psalm of Israel. Okay. Ya, di dalam orang isn't it Israel. wonderful? Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. yeah, sure. Sometimes, you know, they, they, um, um, they are very sad before God. Iya, Lord. Kadang-kadang yeah. mereka sedih karena yeah. Allah. Please listen to our prayer. Dengarkanlah yeah. doaku Tuhan. Yeah. So they open their heart to mereka, God. Mereka membuka hatinya. But in some psalms, okay, all of a sudden there is a turning point. Tapi ada di sana ada in the psalm, there is a turning point. Baliknya. Yeah, and all of a sudden their 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 wailing and their sorrow turn to their joy. Lalu dari kesedihan itu ter Berbalik menjadi sukacita. And Klaus Westermann thinks that is when they they see God's answer. Jadi maka mereka berpikir Klaus Westermann berpikir nanti suatu saat akan mendapatkan jawaban Allah. So their relationship to God is really really real. Dan mereka hubungan dengan Allah mereka sangat sangat real. And they had no hidden purpose as they praise God. Dia tidak punya maksud tersembunyi, tetapi mereka memuji Allah. So let me let me warn you, okay, in this. Let me warn warn you in yeah. this. Okay. Uh, saya memperingatkan kamu dalam hal ini. If you have hidden purpose as you praise God, kalau kamu punya maksud maksud tersembunyi dalam memuji Allah, you worship God as if a foreign people worship their own God. Kamu sama seperti uh, orang lain memuji Allah, uh, orang asing itu memuji Allah. You worship our God as if they worship pagan gods. Kamu sama aja seperti orang penyembah berhala. This is sin. Dan itu adalah dosa. Okay. I told you, God sees our heart. Ya, hmm? Tuhan Allah di dalam hati kita. 
kita tahu hati kita. So what is our purpose when you praise God? Jadi apa tujuan kita di dalam hal? So we should investigate Tuhan. our heart first. Kita harus membuat hati kita. We should be pure. Kita harus murni. Okay. Then we want to say to God, Lord, please investigate my heart. Jadi uh, kita bisa katakan Tuhan, uh, koreksi hatiku. Mm-hmm. If there is a sin, please let me know of it. If there is a sin, please yeah. let me know of Kalau ada yang dus- dosa, biarlah aku tahu. My purpose is only to please you. Tujuanku hanyalah untuk memperkenalkan di hadapanmu. Two things. There is two. There are two reasons. Because you, you have done so many beautiful things to me. Banyak hal okay. untuk saya yang bagus untuk This saya. This is one thing. And the second thing. Dan hal yang kedua. Because of who you are, I praise you. Siapa uh, siapa Eko? So two things. Because of what you've done for me. Uh, karena apa yang kamu sudah kerjakan untuk saya. And also because of who you are, karena we praise God. Si, siapa Eko sehingga aku memuliakan Eko. If I have to choose, okay, memilih, only one hanya satu among them, di antara dua itu, what will be the answer? Kalau harus memilih satu di antara dua itu, apa yang kamu pilih? We praise God because of what He has done for us. Number one. Nomor satu yang apa yang uh, kita melakukan itu so, karena number, apa yang Tuhan berikan. Number two, kita. I praise God because of who Aku you Allah. are. Karena Siapa Allah tahu siapakah Allah itu. Both are correct. Both are correct. Dua-duanya benar. But if if you have to choose only one, kalau kamu harus memilih satu, then what will be your answer? What will be your choice? Jawabmu apa? Kamu pilih yang mana? Satu atau dua? So no problem. So to have, don't have, don't have fear because there is no no such answer. Like you know, that is wrong. There's no wrong answer. Gak, gak, gak khawatir, gak ada yang salah. But there is a better answer. Better answer. What would be the better answer? Tapi ada yang lebih baik. Ada jawapan yang lebih baik. Gak ada yang salah, gak ada khawatir. So. Bishnu, what, 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 what do you think is the What is your answer? If you have to, if you have to hmm? Number one Number one Okay, and you? Number two Number two Number two Wow, amazing So, why why did you select number one? Tell me Kenapa milih nomor satu? Oh, no, 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 no problem, it's good <laughs> Wow. Because uh, you should choose uh, one of two, so I choose one. <laughs> no. Hey, you're a leader, okay? Leaders shouldn't behave like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Gunta, tell me why you why 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 you selected. Kenapa kamu milih yang kedua, Gunta? Kenapa milih yang nomor dua? Now <laughs> let me let me let me. Yeah, this is actually very deep. Deep knowledge, okay. But ini, I want to share with you. Ini dalam. Look at, look at the, the the song they sang, okay? L- uh, num- uh, verse 13. Verse 13. Yang ayat ke-13, coba kita lihat yang ke-13 tadi Mazmur. Apa tadi? 13. Verse 13. Ya, uh, dua dua tamari, pasal yang ke-13. Lalu para pendiam nafiri dan para penyanyi itu serentak memperdengarkan pada suara untuk menyanyikan pujian dan syukur kepada Tuhan. Mereka menyaringkan suara dengan nafiri, ceracap dan alat-alat musik sambil memuji Tuhan dan dengan dengan ucapan sebab ia baik bahwasanya untuk selama-lamanya kasih setia. 
pada ketika itu rumah itu yakni rumah Tuhan dipenuhi awan. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Karena Allah baik. For his mercy endures forever. Okay? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty much all about who God is. Ini tapi sebetulnya adalah tentang okay. siapakah Allah itu. Okay, now here they might they might uh, have 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 song like okay, you did so many things to us something like that, okay? Yeah, ada mm-hmm. lagu yang Tuhan engkau telah membuat banyak hal untuk saya. Now we turn to the page uh, page page five. Page Kita five. kembali ke halaman lima. And uh, I want you to read verse twenty uh, one. Verse 21 of uh, Second Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Uh, mm-hmm. ta- Verse 21. Dua tawari. Verse 21. Yeah. Jesus. Dua satu. Ayat. Dua puluh ayat dua puluh satu. Yeah. So. Read together, okay? Dua. Yeah. Bersama-sama me- 21 Verse 21 20 ayat 13 Ayat eh, 23 ya verse, eh. Chapter 20 uh-huh. ya, Verse 21 uh, Ayat 21 okay. Ayat 23 Tiga. Setelah ia berundik dengan rakyat Ia mengangkat orang-orang yang akan menyanyi nyanyian untuk Tuhan Dan memuji Tuhan dalam bagian kudus yang semarang pada waktu mereka keluar Di muka orang-orang bersenjata Sambil berkata Nyanyikanlah nyanyian syukur bagi Tuhan bahwasanya untuk selama-lamanya kasih setianya. Ha. Now here the song is almost the same, right? Ya, nah, di sini okay. kan mirip kan sama. Yeah, as the song they sang at the dedication service yeah. of at Solomon's Temple. Nah, jadi yang dinyanyikan mm-hmm. di Salomo tadi. Now this is a really kind of a weird weird situation. Ini dalam keadaan yang uh, uh, situasi yang aneh. Think of the situation here in the, 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 the Second Chronicle chapter Jadi, 20. Uh, <coughs> ya, yeah, kita coba pikirkan situasi. They are, they are ini. in the battle, okay? They are in the battle. Dia mereka dalam keadaan perang. And they are almost dead because the, the enemy is too big. Karena <coughs> mereka hampir mati karena musuhnya besar sekali. So they have fear, great fear. Mereka mengalami ketakutan yang amat sangat. And then they sing something like this. Kemudian okay. mereka menyanyi seperti itu. What kind of song would you sing when you are in that terrible situation? Kalau dalam kondisi seperti itu, <coughs> apa yang kamu akan nyanyikan? Any time you will get killed, huh? In that terrible situation, kamu dalam keadaan ketakutan. What kind of song will you sing? Nyanyian model apa ya? Sepanjang apa yang kamu nyanyikan? If you are able to sing, kalau kamu bisa menyanyi, maybe I would sing. Okay. Mungkin saya akan nyanyi. Lord God is great. <laughs> you are Almighty God. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I would sing something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you are my power. It sounds like there, okay? It's quite, quite. It's, it's differently, okay? They sang. <laughs> Give thanks to the Lord for His mercy endures forever. Syukur untuk kasih kemurah kemurahan Tuhan selamanya. People will think, oh, there's a really bad selection. <laughs> so we have to change our conductor. <laughs> there's a bad selection. Okay? But it's inspired by the Holy Spirit. Even the, back, the fact that the location, location of the choir is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Before the army, okay, we learned yeah, that. Okay? Before the army. 
So we know that the, the selection of song is also guided by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> by the way, they fasted and prayed. The whole people of Israel fasted and prayed. Yeah. And then God, God spoken to them the, through His prophet. So everything is guided by the Holy Spirit now. Huh? So this must be best song selection. Okay? And give thanks to the Lord for His mercy endures forever. It is about song praise about His character. They praised God for who He is. Ya, mereka menyanyikan uh, memuji Allah karena siapa Allah itu. Mm -hmm. Now let me tell you this and then we finish finish this this class, okay? We we'll call it a day. <coughs> uh, we 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 praise God because of what God has done. It's it's perfectly right. It's perfectly right. Uh, uh, kita menyanyi karena Tuhan Allah. Um, apa yang telah dilakukan Tuhan untuk kita okay. But if you have to choose from okay because of what God has done and because of what who he is then we prefer okay to select this. Yeah. Kalau because of who he is <coughs> kita um, memilih why yang kedua kenapa Actually all that God has done shows us shows us who He is. Kadang-kadang apa yang Tuhan lakukan itu menunjukkan kepada kita siapa Dia. Yeah. I told you God is huge. We cannot know Him actually. Huh? We cannot know Him. Ya yeah, sebenarnya kita tidak tahu siapa Dia. So God does so many things in order that we know him supaya dilakukan supaya kita tahu siapa dia how did you know that god is god of love bagaimana kamu tahu allah itu allah yang kasih tell me what how did you how did you know that god is god of love bagaimana kamu tahu allah itu allah yang kasih bagaimana because we saw so many things karena kita menunjukkan kepada kita God did out of his love dengan kasihnya we know God out of his love sent his own son ya God did something so we know God is God of love ya karena Tuhan memberikan segala sesuatu maka kita tahu bahwa Allah adalah Allah yang baik now let me tell you this if God did not do anything if God hasn't do anything for you Allah tidak melakukan sesuatu untuk anda is God still God of love or God is not God of love apakah Allah itu Allah yang kasih atau bukan kalau tidak melakukan sesuatu apakah dia Allah yang kasih atau bukan eh eh if God hasn't kalau Allah tidak if God hasn't don't anything for us okay can that fact can that fact change God's essence you know what I mean <coughs> let me do this way even as God did nothing for us God is God of love Allah itu adalah Allah yang kasih. But there is only one problem. Tapi ada satu masalah. We cannot know that God is God of love. Tetapi masalahnya adalah kita nggak bisa tahu bahwa Allah itu Allah yang mengasihi. Amen. Yeah, that's our problem then. Yeah. Ini sebenarnya masalah kita. How do we know that God is God of love? Bagaimana Allah itu Allah yang kasih? Even if God says hundred times, I'm the God, God of love, I'm the God, God of love. How can we understand that? So in order that we understand God's essence, God does many things. 
out of his love. Ya, kita mengetahui <coughs> esensi Allah Allah yang kasih kalau dia melakukan sesuatu. Why I'm telling you this is? Kenapa saya katakan ini? Now, if you understand this, kalau anda mengerti ini, then you can praise God. Kamu bisa melalui Allah muci Allah. Even as you got nothing from God. Meskipun kamu tidak menerima apapun dari Allah. Let's say your end, your your prayer was not answered. Meskipun misalnya doa kamu tidak dijawab. Let's say you are now sick. Maksudnya kamu melihat sick, 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 you know, sick. And you think, oh, God doesn't hear your prayer these days. Lalu sebelum kita kenal dia tidak sini doa saya. And your friend left you. In that dire situation, can you praise God? Apakah dalam kondisi seperti itu kamu bisa memuliakan Allah? If you praise God because of who He is, you can praise Him. Kalau kamu memuliakan Allah karena siapa Allah itu, maka kamu tetap saja bisa memuliakan Allah. But if you only praise God because of what He has done, tapi kalau kamu mau melayakan Allah hanya karena setiap apapun yang dilakukan Allah untuk saudara, in that situation you cannot praise. Maka dalam kondisi yang seperti itu, kesitusi itu tidak bisa memuliakan Allah. Let's look at only one verse and we finish it. Job chapter one verse twenty one. Kita tidak membaca di kitab Ayub. Yeah, Job. Okay. What? Job. Chapter one, verse twenty-one. Yup. Chapter one. Yeah, verse twenty-one. Uh, ayat dua puluh satu. Dah ketemu. Ayub satu, ayat dua satu. Verse twenty-one. Let's read together. Mari berbaca bersama. Dua, tiga. Katanya. Dengan telanjang aku keluar dari kandungan ibuku, dengan telanjang juga aku akan kembali ke dalamnya. Tuhan yang memberi, Tuhan yang mengambil, terpujilah nama Tuhan. And you know the situation. In what situation? Ya, saudara tahu dalam kondisi apa ini, situasi apa? He lost everything. Dia sudah kehilangan segala sesuatu. But the word used here is he. Tetapi di sini he blessed God with song. Tetapi memberkati Allah dengan pujian. He he used the 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 word barak. Dia menggunakan kata barak. Barak is the word that we le we we learned already in. Barak kita sudah belajar. Related to King Jehoshaphat's battle. King Jehoshaphat. So this is in in this impossible situation, Job praised God. Dalam kondisi yang tidak memungkinkan ini, Yakub, Ayub memuji Allah. So I really want you to praise God even as God doesn't do anything for you. Saya ingin. Memuji Allah meskipun Allah tidak melakukan apapun pada saya. Amen. But actually, God did so many things already to you, for you. Pat sebenarnya Tuhan sudah melakukan banyak hal untuk saudara. God already sent Jesus for you. Tuhan sudah mengirimkan Yesus. Allah mengirimkan Yesus kepada saudara. So. Even as we wanted to, we wanted to praise God for He is actually. We praise God because of what He has done also. Sebetulnya kalau kita memuji Allah karena siapa dia, sebetulnya kita juga memuji Allah karena apa yang telah dilakukannya untuk kita. Let's pray. Mari kita berdoa. Wow. Okay. This is very deep teaching and very deep understanding. Pelajaran yang dalam dan pengertian yang dalam. Tomorrow we will take practical things. Okay. Kita akan belajar yang lebih praktis. But I appreciate that you are here. Okay. Until this 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 time. Okay. This is not easy for you. 
Okay. Uh, saya tahu saudara sampai di sini uh, tidak mudah untuk saudara. But I hope you feel rewarded, okay? Rewarded by the knowledge okay, you learn. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. I I I hope you feel yeah. rewarded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> saudara, saya berharap saudara yeah. dipenuhi oleh hikmat okay. pengetahuan ini. Okay. Okay. Let's pray and really thank give thanks. Okay. Yeah, kita bersyukur mm -hmm. pada Allah. Father, we thank you for this teaching. Hallelujah. <coughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, let us praise you for who you are. Let us praise you for what you've done, Father. Yes, you did so many things to us that is uh, invaluable. We cannot count it. Oh Lord, please uh, let us go deeper, deeper, and let us understand mm -hmm. your glory in a deeper sense, Father. Father, we thank you, Father. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Uh, by you, will you close this session with prayer? Pada akhir pada, uh, pertemuan pada hari ini, kami bersyukur dan berterima kasih kepada kamu ya Tuhan. Engkau memberikan kami kekuatan, Engkau memberikan kemampuan kami kepada kami untuk bisa mengikuti. Kami juga berdoa untuk teman-teman kami yang kesulitan untuk bisa menyelesaikan, uh, mengikuti secara tuntas apa yang diberikan oleh hambamu. Kami berdoa akhirnya mereka juga bisa belajar melalui sumber-sumber yang lain yang akan mereka pelajari Tuhan tolong mereka untuk bisa juga mendapatkan pengertian tolonglah kami semuanya untuk bisa mendapatkan pengertian yang lebih dalam lagi tentang arti kami memuji engkau dan maksud kami memuji engkau agar apa yang kami lakukan pelayanan kami hujan kami sungguh berkenan di hadapan engkau Akhirnya Tuhan kami serahkan hidup kami uh, ke dalam tangan Tuhan. Kiranya Tuhan sertai kami kembali ke tempat kami masing-masing. Sertailah kami dalam istirahat kami. Engkau memberikan kesehatan, kesegaran kembali kepada kami ketika kami beristirahat. Tuhan menjauhkan kami dari yang jahat. Kami bersyukur dan terima kasih untuk semuanya ini Tuhan. Hanya di dalam namamu Tuhan Yesus itu kami bersyukur dan berdoa. Amin. 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 Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. kita glory Tuhan, terima kasih.